Well, good evening, gentlemen. This is K5LYN. My name is Lynn. And uh, this is a Swan 500 that I'm very carefully driving a Collins 30L1. We get together here on Wednesday evenings and talk about the early days of single side band. A lot of us are operating vacuum tube radios. Sometimes folks come by and check in on AM. If you're on AM, really zero beat us very, very carefully because most of us don't have any RIT. Uh, vacuum tube radios, hybrids, whatever the case is, welcome. Or if you're, you've got a more modern radio but you're interested in the subject matter, you're uh, welcome here too. So uh, buy-sell trades are welcome if they are boat anchor related, and let's keep it uh, restricted to that. There's plenty of other nets that can trade the other stuff. If you've got a technical question about a radio you're working on, this is a pretty good place to bring up the question because somebody may have some technical advice. All right, I counted about uh, 18 calls of people that were lurking here. So I'm going to, uh, I think, uh, pick the first nine. That would be through, through maybe uh, K5BCN, Coy. And then I'll give it to Jim, let him talk to some folks. After all that's done, then we'll, uh, we'll uh, take some check-ins. So, Jay, I'm going to start with you. Uh, you were at the top of the list when I came in here. What about it? Uh, KM5QS from K5LYN. Oh, okay, Lynn. Thanks, sir. Oops, I got something wrong with my... Okay, there, it's straightened out. Man, I guess I'm going to have to pull my antenna down one of these days and figure out what I'm burning up up there at the feed point. <laughs> it doesn't like it sometimes. I'm on the... Uh, this is KM5QS, if I didn't say that. Jay in Alice, Texas. I'm on the Collins S line this evening. Um which just bunt through whatever difficulty I have on the antenna. Um, 32S1, 75S1, 30L1, 516F2, and all the stuff that goes with them. Uh, like that. Uh, rig's looking good, working good, makes y'all sound good. Everything's, everything's doing wonderful. Um, I've got a uh, couple of items that someone out there that has one that might need it or might need some information or whatever or just want to see uh, documentation because uh, I don't have the rigs and I don't need the paper. I have a uh, assembly manual for a Johnson Viking Ranger. Um, I don't know where the radio is, so if anyone would like to have that assembly manual, for whatever reasons, uh, just let me know and we'll figure out some way to get it to you. I also have the a, a most of a manual along with the alignment procedures for a Halicrafters SX-71 and 71-U uniform. Um, that same deal on that. Anybody would like to have that, uh, just let me know and we'll get it to you somehow. Um, I'm easy to find on QRZ. Uh, my email's good there. Or if you know me and have my number, just give me a call, whatever. Or if you want my number, it's 361-207-9181. Uh, hopefully the band will hold up. Everybody's sounding good this evening. And that's about it, Lynn. Back to y'all, KN5QS. Spectacular signal, Jay, in every way. And I'm sure everybody heard your listing. And by the way, the SX-71, if I'm not mistaken, is a very rare and collectible radio. Uh, I had one quite by accident and let it go <laughs> cheap. I found out the hard way that that's one that everybody wants. So you'll have some interest in that manual. All right, let's move on. Mr. TXW, what do you say, George? K5LYN. Hello, Lynn, and all around the net. Uh, everything is... Uh a OK -okay today on the Collins gear, 32S1, 75S3, 30L1, the Bud Whitney Memorial Power Supply. I think about our visit out there to Bud quite a bit. HD 10 Delta, a static microphone, the horizontal loop. The green fuzzies are falling here out of the oak trees, so now the fun begins. Over. Yeah, they're filling up the gutters. You got any gutters over there? I got rid of mine because of those things. I've got gutters, but I've got a new tactic this year, which is, well, 
hardly to mention on net time, but uh, the goal is to get up and down the ladders in the springtime once instead of being compulsive over. I understand. I understand, George. You, your calling sounds just as good as Jay, and you know how good that was because you just heard him. Anything else for the net tonight? Negative. I'll sit back and listen. Band's going to be good. I don't hear any crash, crash, which is kind of amazing because we're supposed to get some. WB5TXW back to net. Yeah, last time I heard about that, they were talking Friday, but I haven't heard an update, so there's no telling. Good signal, George. Be in touch. All right, let's see. Mr. Rusty, WK5R. What about it, Rusty? K5LYN. Uh, afternoon. Good in there, uh, K5LYN in the net, WK5R. Well, tonight we're on Dennis W5DPK's uh, NCX3 that I've been working on. And it, we got it matching power supply to the NCXA, which I'm told is a little bit rare, but I don't know. We've rebuilt that. Uh, uh, all the issues were in the power supply, so <laughs> I think we got that ironed out and uh, got the thing working there. Uh, we uh, tried to do like we do on most of them, to go to the higher resistance on the bleeders, but that didn't work because the voltage was too high and it was blowing diodes because it's got a full weight bridge and the voltage was just over what any one of the diodes in the bridge would handle. So we got uh, that straightened out by going back to the uh, a higher wattage and, and lower resistance resistors. That pulled the wattage back down below the house. This thing seems to be happy now. And we're driving the uh, GF35B homebrew amp with it. Uh, all right close to uh, legal limit there. So uh, that's what we got here. Uh, uh, Lynn, uh, back to you there. Uh, I guess I'm about ready for this to come pick this thing up. WK5R back to net. Sounding good, Rusty. Were there diodes blown in the power supply, or you just wanted to update them? Uh, it's got a new... I built the board part and everything, Lynn, and uh, it was blowing the diodes on the board. And I got to check it, and it was like 1,100 volts on there. And with just four of those uh, 5408 diodes, that bridge is only good for 1,000 volts then. So I, uh, I went to those other, back to the original uh, resistors, original value resistors on there are pretty close to it. And uh, that pulled the voltage back down below 1,000 volts. It's about 990 right now. And so that, uh, it's been on for about, uh, I've had it on for about 10 to 15 hours altogether, and it hasn't blown anything, so I think it's going to stay with me. I think so, too. Good signal. All right, Rusty, thanks for the information there. Okay, let's see, WB5L. Hey, Glenn, uh, how's the skip between you and I? K5LYN. Hello, Glenn, K5LYN. From WB5L, Glenn up here in Bella Vista. Arkansas. Only about um, three miles to Missouri and about 15 miles or so over there to Oklahoma. So I'm right up in the top left corner. And hello to everybody on the boat anchors and that. Everybody sounds good. I think your signal went down a little bit, Lynn, since I'm in the dark now and you're not quite there, but we'll be soon. This time of day, it's yeah, things are shifting around, but I hear you just fine. Just a little bit lower than you was a while ago. And I'm uh, I'm running my same old junk here. It's the uh, Drake TR4C MS4 AC4 W4, all that going into the uh, Heathkit SB1000. It's a single tuber, uh, three five hundred up to an inverted V on the tower about 50 feet. So, microphone is an Audio Technica studio mic. And I've also got a little um, uh, audio filter before I get to the speaker. And it knocks out a bunch of heterodyne and makes everybody just sound so good on the old boat anchors. I'm really enjoying the net. And we do appreciate everything y'all are doing. Uh, Doing a great job, Jim and Jay, and and uh, uh, I didn't hurt guys. Guy in here, anyway. 
Have a good evening. That's all I have. I'll hush up while I can. WB5L. Okay, fine, Glenn. You know, I'll tell you what, uh, you're stronger here, so uh, that deal's doing a good job. I'll tell you what, uh, maybe we, uh, maybe <laughs> maybe the skip's working better in your direction than it is in mine. I don't know, but uh, you're you're working fine. All right, let's see. Uh, now, I don't know if Jim's there or not. WJ5MS. Hey, Jim, you there? K5LYN. Okay, we said we might have to come back to him. How about Mike, WA5MTT? I think I heard something about Collins a while ago, didn't I? K5LYN. Oh, yeah, Lynn. Um, back on the Collins S line tonight uh, on the winged emblem uh, 75S2, 32S1, and the uh, 30S1 um, amplifier. And the uh, 516 F2 solid stated power supply. And the 312 B4 console. Microphone is Electro Voice 664. Um, yeah, I've got some other other stuff here too, Lynn. I'll tell you about some time I acquired. So I've got a. I'm waiting on some cables from the RF connection. Uh, it's another S line station. So <laughs> this is a co collecting Collins gear is a sickness. So, but I but I'm I still have to. If work will let up here, I, I still have some things I need to do to the uh, KWM 380. So uh, the nice thing about the Collins, I just turn it on. It's still set up the way it was last week and uh you know let it warm up and everything works so anyway that's that's the story here good hearing everybody on the net tonight wa5mtt yeah that's the third s line we've heard tonight mike and uh, you can't beat them i'll tell you what great audio power sounds just like you uh, beautiful work there including the 30s1 which is a challenge all right uh, mr uh jko jim on the 28 how about it k5lyn all right. Uh, thank you, Lynn, K5LYN. This is Jim, WD5JKO, um, in Round Rock here. Well, everybody's coming through great, and uh, now that uh, the activity up the band seems to have subsided there, we got a clear frequency. That's kind of nice. So, uh, anyway, uh, we're on the uh, 20A here with uh, lots of little tweaks in it, and... Uh, uh, driving the uh, the Gonset uh, linear, the one with uh, four 811s in there. This is the GSB 201, and uh, <clears throat> I don't know what the power is. Maybe four 400 watts PEP or something like that. And I'm not pushing it very hard. So uh, that's the scoop here. Um, there's a, a comment there for some of the guys trying to get on. Uh, frequency and whatnot is uh, if you're if you're interested in trying to deal with that with a boat anchor, look up the term in your Google search bar X lock X L O C K. Um, I'm doing that here with my 20A on the external VFO. It's a Lakeshore band hopper. I've got an X lock stabilizer in there, and then in the 20A, uh, it's got a nine megahertz crystal, and that crystal. It moves quite a bit too as it warms up, several hundred hertz. So I got that in uh, in a in a you know a VHF uh, you know uh, FM type uh, crystal oven that they used to put uh, 13 meg crystals and multiply the snot out of them up to two meters. So uh, so basically with this setup, after about three minutes. Um, I'm pretty stable, and then over the next hour, it'll move maybe 30 hertz. That's about it. So uh, it, it, it's it's more than workable. So it, it you know it's uh, it's some effort, but uh, um, you know so, some some of you guys are saying that you know your VFOs are continuously moving, and that's uh, that can be a problem. Anyway, back to net K5LYN in the group WD5JKO. My VFO is continuously moving. Correct. <laughs> we'll see if I do half as well as you when I get over on the 20A, Jim. I'll try to do my next shift on mine. Your 20A is spectacular, as usual, and powerful over here tonight. All right, moving on. How about Don, W5DK? What about it, Don? K5LYN. Yeah, good evening, K5LYN. Uh, Lynn and everybody on the net. Everybody sounds great. Um down here in Spring Branch, north of San Antonio, in the beautiful hill country, um, on my TER4 
uh, standby. I've been using, checking in recently. Got some other rigs here. Got a several other Drakes B line, C line, and, and an amp and L4. So I need to get more stuff going myself, but not enough time. Coincidentally, uh, leaf blower works great on the gutters. Um, the rest of the rig, I'm just going through an uh, old 2060 barefoot out to a double extended zip and using the D104. So that's it here. And, uh, glad to hear everybody enjoying listening to all the rigs. Uh, back to you, Lynn, and, and everybody on the net. K5LYN and net, W5DK. Very nice work, Don. And uh, sure is nice to have you here more often uh, these evenings. Uh, great to hear you. All right, uh, Mr. Coy, K5BCN. Hey, Coy, we've been missing you a lot. How about it? K5LYN. Right. K5LYN, Nanette, K5BCN. Well, hello to you, Lynn, and everybody. Appreciate you calling Annette and picking us up. I don't know where you copied very good. We copied you pretty good. We all a little HW12 barefooted. And uh, dipole antenna and a uh, sure 444 mic. So I've been... Been watching ball games, and first one thing or another, missing. So uh, get uh, I'll, maybe I can get in here some every once in a while on Wednesday night now. But anyway, appreciate all you do. Hope everybody has a good evening, and we'll be listening here for a little bit. K5 LYN, K5 BCN. Okay, Coy, I did hear that that uh, HW12 barefooted, didn't I? Did I hear that right? Roger, Roger. It's doing the job. All right, congratulations. We don't. Uh, hear those very often, but it's amazing how a number of them are out there and working as well as they are. Nice work on your part. Okay, um, did I hear somebody trying to break us a minute ago? Let me take a standby. Who was that? K5LYN? LYN, BZ. Okay, uh, Ron, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, I just wanted to say, turn the rig on the day before and the VFO will settle down. Over. That's Correct. Uh, that's the best way to do it. All right. We'll come to you in a minute, Ron. Uh, let me see here now. I think I'm going to go ahead and talk to Bob since I didn't hear Jim in there. K5CXG. Uh, Bob, how about it? Uh, bring us up to date. you got through lots of changes up there. K5LYN. Yeah, we moved. Hello, yeah, K5 CXG. We moved uh, another place, actually, and we've still got a lot of stuff out there at the other one, so... We've got another, uh, we'll be setting up a place out at the uh, lake place here pretty soon. We'll be on the air out there. And that's where the old gear is right now. So we'll be on it when we get out there. Right now I'm cheating a little bit on 850. But hell, that's 30 years old now, so, or almost. So, uh, you know, it's, it's getting up there too. And, uh, so we're hanging in. We're moving and lifting and all that good stuff, and it's been a rough one. Everybody have a good week, and we'll be getting in touch with you. We'll get the uh, the uh, Marauders out there at the lake, too, Lynn, so we'll be getting it on the air sometime maybe in the summer. Or... I've been so overwhelmed, I haven't had a chance to fool with my Marauder. This, uh, you know, we tried to have a Marauder Day every winter. We didn't get to him this time around. Maybe it'll uh, get pushed back into the spring a little bit. Bob, is that the same antenna we used to hear, or is this something totally different? That is the very same antenna, the very same mass, the very same coax. The only thing that's different is the string on the end of it. <laughs> okay. It's doing a very nice job tonight. Great signal into Austin. Anything else for the net? No, that's it, Lynn. Just enjoying the net. All right. Glad to hear you. Okay, Jim, uh, there's a bunch of folks waiting in line. Shall I throw it your way? KB5ZIV and the boat anchors. K5LYN. Sure. Why not? Put me on there, too, L-Y-L. -L. All right, I got you, Todd. L-Y-L's checking in. Yeah, I got him. All right, folks, this is KB5ZIV. You're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. I'm on the, uh, let me turn that other one down a little bit. I'm on the Swan HF700S. It's uh, it's going into the B&W PT2500A. That goes into the big tuner and out there to the to the ladder line fed big antenna. So with that said, let me get uh, let me see if some of these guys are here. I thought I heard Mike earlier. KL7CD, did I hear you? You didn't hear me, but I'm here. I thought I heard you earlier. No, I I got in late and I've uh, been waiting for the VFO to kind of on this old receiver to kind of settle down and just been listening. I figured I'd wait till they 
Started calling chickens. Well, I got you anyway. Come on in here. Okay, real quickly, uh, I wanted to talk to Rusty there, WK5R. Rusty, uh, this is Mike. I bought the AC3 board from you there at the Belton, and it uh, turned out I had an AC4 power supply, and I sent that AC3 back to you. Have you received that yet? Uh, yep. Uh, yep. There it is. Yeah, Mike, it came in the mail today. And I got it, and as soon as I get the uh, AC4s in, I will ship one to you. Okay, man. Uh, let me know what I owe you now, and I'll, I'll get it the difference paid. I know they're a little more expensive. Um, okay, this is Mike, uh, KL7 Charlie Delta in New Braunfels, Texas, just north of San Antonio on the edge of the hill country, running the Helicrafters Twins here tonight again. HT44 transmitter, SX117 receiver in transceive mode using the receiver VFO for uh, transmit frequency at the same time. And my uh, RF pump is a Heathkit SB220. And uh, antenna is the inverted V up about 25 feet. And a Shure 444 microphone and I picked up. Uh, I missed Lynn at the at the uh, at Belton. I want him when he comes back in to tell me why he didn't show up. If he showed up, he didn't find me. I know that. I was watching for him. And uh, I picked up a a T4X Drake transmitter, and it turned out to be an AC4 uh, power supply. I already have the R4, and I've been through it, so I got work to do on this transmitter. First, I got to build a power supply back up so I can work on the transmitter and maybe I'll be on Drake Twins here one of these nights but I got to do a little work first beautiful day here in New Braunfels today um, that's about it from my end KB5ZIV and hello to you Jim and and uh, Jay and, and all the bunch KL7 Charlie Delta the helicopter sounds really good Hey, you got some comments here, Lynn? I think it was Mike. Okay, he's probably switching radios. He had a meeting to go to, Mike, and uh, when he saw the weather, he decided to uh, do the better part of Valor. Isn't that funny? There's a lot of people really missed out because they, uh, they saw the weather. I, I almost did the same thing, but I didn't, and I'm glad I went. Uh, by the way, I did not peel. I did turn red, but I did not peel. Yeah, you got pretty red. I know you were telling me all about it while I was there, but I, I can take quite a bit of sun. I get pretty red, but I, if I peel, it's really bad. I do, I do. It's sounding good, Mike. Uh, hopefully you're ready to do it again in October. Yeah, I bought me a... Uh, I bought me a 1940 model Ford today. I got to go pick it up in Phoenix. I'm going to tow it back on a trailer, and uh, I may drive it to Belton in the fall. That'll be cool. That'd be cool to have a boat anchor selling it out of the trunk of that 40 model Ford, huh? That'd be pretty cool. Is it a sedan? Yeah, it's a, it's a what they call a Ford two-door deluxe. It's a two-door sedan. It's not the coupe, but uh, it's got a highly worked-over flathead motor in it, and it, it's pretty cool. I, I, I don't want to tell you too much about it. I'm going to try to bring it to Belton in the fall. All right, we'll be looking forward to it, Mike. Anything else? That's it from KL7 Charlie Delta. Go ahead, Jim. All right, brother. Hey, Mr. JGX, so Hugo, you hanging around? Weather's all right. It's going to supposedly rain on Friday. We'll have to see what the weather gods have to say about that. I'm just running the Kenwood 570. Not a boat anchor, but uh, listening to all of this beautiful transmit audio coming from all them good old tube radios and amplifiers there. Uh, I guess that's much, pretty much it so far, Jim. Thanks for letting me in here, and we are here and listening to the rest of the net. In 5 jgx All right. Did I move too far at that time, or is that pretty close? Um, uh, you can come back some, I think. Anyway, well, it'll come around in a minute. Okay. 
Hugo checked in before me. I missed it. Yeah. All right, Ron, K5, there, BZ, come on in here. All right, thank you, and good evening to the net. Uh, Swan 700CX, pair of 8950s, going through uh, something I made uh, back in the 80s, uh, uh, audio amp with um, three um, M2057s, no amplifier, barefoot, and still on the uh, 40 meter double bazooka. KG5, no, 75. KG5 BZ back to net. That's it. Alright, Ron, it's working, brother. Alright, KC0 Sugar Nancy Nancy, did I get that right? Roger, Roger. Alright, come on in here. Okay, well, thanks for taking me up there. Uh, I think it's the second or third time I've been down here. Uh, just been forgetting about it, so somebody remind me about it tonight there, and uh, so I slid down here and thought we'd uh, thought we'd check in there. We're just on a Swan 350 uh, uh, inverted V up for about 32 feet, and uh, well, what's the radio putting out the back of it? Uh, a little over 250, and uh, that's it there. So. Uh, uh, thanks for picking me up. Uh, and we're just, uh, uh, better tell you where I'm at. I'm up here just north of Joplin, uh, uh, about five miles in a little old town called Carl Junction there. So, uh, anyway, that's, uh, the situation here over. You got it working just right. It's working pretty good down here. I'm, I'm pretty close to the Mexican border, so he got a good signal down here. Roger, Roger. Well, thanks for the, the flyer there, as they say. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm uh, in, in, in the process of maybe uh, getting a uh, Swan 700, so uh, if I do there, well, I uh, would maybe get on it, but uh, boy, I sure do love this 350. It, uh, well, I got a, a, a Yezu uh, a 920 sitting up there, but uh, it's my backup rig now, so this is the main rig I talk on there, Or Roger, Roger. Well, it's doing a good job. Hopefully, I'm getting up there uh, fairly decent. Oh, Roger, yeah, I'm hearing everybody good tonight. I mean, everybody seems to be booming in here, so uh, like you're sitting next to me there. So, okay, I'll shut up and let you carry on. I know there's others out there that want to get in there. Casey, zero, that's been it. Oh, All right, brother, have a good one. Contact. Yeah, contact. Hugo, on a QSY to 12. I guess he's going back to net. Thank you. All right, Ron. All right, let's see. I think that was KB0UOA is the one I got next. KB0UOA, Kenwood, KB. All by Kenwood, ES830M, 82FL, 2100FM. My buddy, Glantana, looks like right about 450, 500 watts there. So you guys are all sound good up here tonight. Hopefully you're pulling me out okay down there. KB0, you away. All right, Steve, yeah, I can hear you just fine. No problem whatsoever. Sounding good down this way. Roger that. Thanks for checking me out. That's all I've got here. KB0, you away. All right. Hey, Mr. Gary, W5BFA. Yeah, Jim. Could be trying ZIB, W5BFA. Well, good evening. Everybody sounded real good on the net tonight. Some I've got a pretty decent band. And uh, Randy old Swan 350 barefooted tonight. Looks at the injuries be about 15 feet in the air. Back up on this on the old aesthetic D10. No amplifier yet, but hopefully in the next week or two, maybe we'll get hooked up. Pick this old radio up and uh, really been happy with little Swan 350 barefoot. Seems like it's working great. Everybody sounding great tonight. Tippy 5 ZIP, W5 All right, Gary. You done good when you got that one. So far, I'm extremely happy. It really works great. I do, I do. All right, hey, Mr. Mokey Mike, N5MOK, uh, what's going on up there? Hey, good evening, Jim. Uh, yeah, this is Mike up in Kilgore, Texas. Uh, uh, tonight on the old TS520, uh, running barefooted, uh, uh, microphone with a short 444, running radio into an uh, inverted V, about 20 foot up in there. 
Uh, right now, external uh, uh, VFO, which they seem to do a little better than that internal. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, it's the N5 MOK. Back to you, there, Jim. All right, Mike, yeah, you're doing good down here, brother. You're just barefoot. Well, I appreciate it. All right. Hey, the next one I got is KB5RU. Come on in here. Oh, KB5RU. Uh, name is Brian. Uh, tonight I'm on my KWM2A uh, running the 30L1 D104 uh, crystal microphone. And uh, uh, high gain, high tower vertical. Uh, which is also a boat anchor. It's a 37-year-old vertical, so <laughs> it's uh, been out there a while. Uh, I've got a couple of a couple of items that somebody might need. I, um, I uh, replaced my uh, S line, my Dash One S line, with a, a Dash Three, and so I've got a, a 32S One uh, transmitter and a 75S1 receiver that has a CW filter, uh, and they're homeless. Uh, they're now homeless because of the Dash 3. Uh, also, uh, if somebody needs a power supply for the transmitter, I, I have a, uh, I've got a homebrew uh, that I made uh, from a HP23 uh, I took an HP-23 uh, power supply and uh, uh, modified it, made it into a, a, a Collins uh, supply uh, with the cable and all. So anyway, that uh, somebody needs those. I'm I'm good on the on the uh, uh, on the internet. Uh, over. All right, Brian. Uh, yeah, what you're on now sounds good, uh, guys. If you're looking for some Collins rigs, there's you. There's you a pretty good shot at it. Just look up old KB5RU there, Brian, and uh, and he'll fix you up. Brian, you might run those on the the Traders Net later uh, Friday and Sunday. That might help you out. Ask him what he wants for. Him. It, somebody was asking what you want for the package. Well, the uh, uh, 75, uh, let me see, uh, uh, is it, can I answer that? Is that all right? Yeah, just, you know, kind of give them an idea of what you're asking for. Yeah. Well, the 75 S1, uh, both of these are in nice uh, shape there. Uh, uh, they were and they're not speed up or anything. They're nice. I was running them. Uh, the 75 S1 with the CW filter, I want $400 for. Uh, the 32 S1 uh, transmitter, uh, I want three and a half for it. And of course, uh, plus whatever you know, if it has to be shipped, uh, the buyer would have to pay for the shipping. Uh, the power supply, I'd take a hundred and a half for, but I would prefer uh, to uh, let it go with the transmitter, you know, rather than the. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that give you an idea of what I'm what I'm thinking. Come in, Jim. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Jim, it's KL7 Charlie Delta. Yeah, I met uh, Brian and looked at those rigs at the Belt and Hamfest. He was one, my uh, Harvey Wells uh, bandmaster with the VFO and the power supply, and uh, and he didn't have the money to pay what he thought it was worth, but he was willing to trade. And I went down and and looked at those rigs, and that 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 was what I was interested in was that Colin setup, the power supply, transmitter, and receiver, and uh, I can vouch for the fact that that transmitter and receiver is really clean. 75 S1, 32 S1, they're they're about as clean as a uh, rig you'd want. And if they work, uh, they're he, he's not asking too much for them. But we couldn't make a deal. But anyway, I just wanted to pl put a plug in there for Brian. Those, that's a nice rig. If you're interested in Collins gear, you're not going to go wrong if those things work. 
they're in really good uh, cosmetic condition. There you go, Brian. I got a good plug there. Well, thank you much. I, yeah, they uh, they weren't fine. I, like I said, I was using them. I I, uh, I made them homeless with a uh, an S3 line. Right, you're right. Well, hopefully uh, someone looks you up and gives you, you know, a little uh, I'd like to have them deal. Uh, you got anything else for us, Brian? Email me. Uh, uh, I, I don't mind giving out my phone number. Uh, I'm probably easier to reach uh, uh, with uh, on uh, email, which is on uh, the Internet. But uh, I can give my phone number if uh, somebody would like to have it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, my number is 903-682-2025. All right, Brian, I got all that written down, and that way if somebody asks me about it, I can slip it to them. Okay, I don't have I don't have anything else uh, for the net. Uh, everybody sounds good tonight. It sounds like there's a predominance uh, tonight of college stuff on here. A bunch of college. Uh, it's always good to hear. Uh, you guys, just uh, keep them glowing. Uh, keep them glowing. All right, brother. That's what we're trying to do. All right. Hey, Marty, N5KBP, you still hanging out? We ain't run you off yet? Oh, no, the baseball game hasn't started yet. No, I wish it went on another 10 or 15 minutes. I might have lost me. <laughs> oh, this is Marty, N5KBP, uh, in Longview, Texas. I'm on the old ACFT-401B, into my uh, big piece of wire with letter line, barefoot, about 200 watts, with old D-104 driving it. That's about it. Been getting all the stuff I can get planted before the rain comes through Friday. Uh, so I will have to water again. So that's all we've been doing around here. So back to that. It's five KBP. Do you want to come and help me plant mine? No, no. But these are for Mama. I, I got to take care of Mama. Well, I got a couple of big tractors. Yeah, I've been planting... I've been playing stuff where I can't use the tractor. I've been having to use old manual shovels. <laughs> You're right. Yep. All right. Let me see. I got, uh, let me see if Jim made it back. WJ5MS. All right. How about Todd? You still hanging around? I use, I use. Well, come on in here and tell us about it. All right. Hello, everybody. KA5LYL Todd, Corpus Christi. And, uh, put that over there. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, running the Kenwood TS520SE. And,. Microphone is a hmm, a Turner. Uh, what is this thing? Turner two? No, no, no. It says Telex on it, but it's the same thing. Is it's it, it's a I'd say it's a Turner uh, two five three. It's a low Z dynamic mic, and yeah, I had to crank the <clears throat> I had to crank the microphone gain on on the radio up a little bit. That's the only uh. Downside to ru downside to running this microphone on this stuff. This microphone is real, real pretty. Hey, I'm barefoot. Uh, this this radio does not have an amplifier plumbed up to it. That's too poor for that. Uh, I got one want. It is a well. It's a part for these five these TS five twenties. Jim, is it okay to lift that? A yeah. want for one. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> All right. It's uh. Hmm. And I got a trace for the walk. I guess I'll off that immaculate 
Kenwood, Papa Sierra 5 to power supply for the for my warrant. You know, I run out of money this month. I need a, I'd like to find a CW narrow filter. CW narrow filter for these radios. I think it's a YK Yankee Kilo 3395 is what it is. YK 3395C is what I believe that is. And yeah, I'm screaming yelling a little bit because I know it's rough to hear me on just the radio. It's about 100 watts still. I know. So I up my voice a little bit so y'all can hear me. So that's all I got. Um, like I said, 520 SE with this Telex slash Turner 253 low Z dynamic mic. Excuse me. That's all I got. Hope I sound all right. Yeah, I hope the audio is tolerable on it. Back to next. K-A-5-L-Y-L. Oh, I can hear you just fine. Okay. It's actually a little hot. Yeah, it's hot. Well, it's because I'm up a, up a little bit on my voice. Yeah. All right. Guys, have you got a narrow CW filter for the uh, for the 520 series? Uh, look Todd up and can shoot him an email. He'd be happy to have it. All right. I heard one more come in there. I, I got the tail end of it. I believe it was UF. Five LUI. All right, okay. Well, good evening. Come on in here. Oh, all right. I uh, just came in here and turned it on and was going to listen for a little bit, but uh, I'm cheating tonight. I I'm working a uh, Kenwood 450S and uh, an SBE. Model SB2 amplifier, one of the sweep tube amplifiers, and a 10 tech mic. So we're fatting a combination, I'll tell you. But uh, yeah, I just thought we'd get in here and say hi to everyone. It's been quite a while since I've been on. All right. No problem, okay. Uh, sounded good down this way. Okay, good enough. But uh, no, I thought I'd get in here and uh, at least let you know everyone. Yeah, let everyone know that I was still around. I got a head full of uh, allergies or cold, one or the other. Can't figure out what's going on. Well, it's uh, it's oak tree pollen season, and you know what comes in it. Boy, I'll go along with that. And I really got it this year. Yeah, that, maybe that wind is coming. It'll blow a bunch of it out of here. Man, I hope so. I'm I'm tired of this. It's almost two weeks now that I've been messing with this stuff. Here, I just, well, it's coming for here. Okay, well, let's uh, get back to it there, and uh, we'll back out of here and keep on the listening there. But uh, you have a great night, and everyone on here sounds good, I'll tell you. But uh, we'll catch you later on. N5 LUI. All right, Kate. All right, Lynn, uh, I think I wiped out everybody, but Jim, uh, you got uh, you got her where you got all the knobs twisted in the right direction? Well, we'll know as soon as I talk. Uh, what do you make of it, Jim? K5LYN. Well, you're here, and uh, I'm not sure I'm in the right place, but that's okay. No, I'm not either. I, I, I checked it a little while ago. It seemed to be pretty good, so maybe we'll go with it here. All right. This is K5LYN returning on the Central Electronics 20A, uh, driving a homebrew amplifier of 46DQ5s, grid-driven. And uh, for the VFO, I'm using the VFO in my SX-115 helicopter, so I am transceiving as if these were uh, twins, like the Drakes or the Collins or whatever. Uh, let me, I, a while ago, I heard a W6HJ. I don't know if he was talking to us. Sir, you weren't talking to us, were you, K5LYN? I guess not. Who else for the boat anchors tonight? K five L Y N. Listing. W A five E I J. Okay, we got a bunch. I got uh, E I J and H and I, and then we'll figure out who the rest of them were. Mister e, e I J. Joseph, tell us about it. Hey, Lynn, the twenty eight sounds good. And hello, Jim, and hello to the net. This is Whiskey Alpha Five Echo India Juliet, Joseph and Magnolia. You guys are listening to another. Central Electronics. This is a 200V, the big brother, so to speak, to the 20A. 
I am listening on a Drake or for Baker. And uh, guys, I just walked in the door. I've had a long day, and so I'm going to turn it back to Ned. There's a lot of other guys. Uh, Jim, I uh, heard about five minutes of it. You sound good. Uh, I, well, I'm trying to decide, Jim. You, I can't decide. You may be running 100,000 watts or maybe just 50,000. I, I really can't decide because my flex, if the antenna is grounded, and you're still coming in at about an S9, uh, arc welding comes to mind. Lynn, I'm going to pass it back to you. And I uh, hope everything's going good for everybody. Sounds good. We've got a good net tonight. Uh, back to net. Over. I'll tell you what it is. He's on a swan tonight. <laughs> That's the difference. Your 200V sounds great. And uh, I'm glad you made it. Uh, we, we were missing you. Over. Thank you, sir. Well, I don't know what he runs. And, and I hope the FCC don't ever go see him. But I can tell you this. If it turns out he's got 100,000 watts, it would not surprise me one iota. My flex is picking him up like crazy, and I swear to you, the antenna posts are grounded. Anyway, uh, you got other guys, so I'll, I'll carry on. It's really a joy to be you guys tonight. Over. Great to hear you, Joseph. You sounded good. Okay, WD5 HNI. Not exactly my neighbor, but not that far away. What do you say, Steve? K5LYN. Yeah, very good evening, uh, Lynn and the multitude out there, and Jim uh, from WD5 HNI. Everybody's sounding just super tonight, and uh, actually the noise floor is kind of lowered a little bit tonight, over. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Uh, you know, you and I have had trouble on 20, but usually it works great here, but you're used stronger than usual tonight. Yeah, I think we just got good band condition. But anyway, uh, very good evening all. My name is Steve. I'm over here uh, pretty close to the Pertinalis River, and... Uh, and tonight we're on a radio that's uh, headquartered at Oceanside, California. That is the Old Swan Corporation. I'm running the Old Swan 350 Plain Jane here, barefoot, about 250, uh, peaking up to three on voice peaks there, and a uh, loop antenna, and a Sure 444 microphone. So that's the run down here. Everybody sounded great, and uh, keep the tubes burning. WD5 Chennai. Great to hear you, Steve. Lots of uh, swans tonight, uh, lots of uh, Collins, and we got three central electronics so far. Okay, moving on. Who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited can hear my 20A tonight? K5LYN, listening. Kilo 5, Lima Tango. Okay, wow, I got a bunch of them. Uh, uh, Victor India, pick it up. Yeah, Dwayne, I guess I should have known other Collins. Uh, yours is doing great, too. Over. All right. I appreciate it. Everybody's sounding great up here. Okay. Anything else for the group this evening? Oh, not really. We're just going to listen in. We were a little late from dinner, but anyway, we're here. Great signal. All right. We'll move on. I didn't hear the whole call, so let's figure out who was 5LT. Over to you, sir. K5LYN. Yeah, this is Kilo 5, Lima Tango, K5LT. Good evening, Yes, Lynn. sir. Pick it up, LT. Hey, good evening, Lynn. This is Lyle in uh, Bernie, Texas. Uh, just talking on the usual tonight, the heat kit, SB101, and uh, going through the uh, SB201 amplifier. And we're putting out about, averaging about four to 500 watts tonight into an extended uh, double extended zip antenna, about 25, 30 foot. So everybody's sounding good, and the band sounds like it's starting to change. So... Lots of other people in here. So I'll let you have it. Have a good evening. K5LT. Okay, uh, Lyle, doing a good job. Uh, uh, always good to hear you in here. Glad you came by this evening. All right, who else can we hear tonight? K5LYN, listening. Zero okay, Kilo Zero, who? Yankee Mike Tango. Uh, I'm not sure who I've got there. I thought I heard a Kilo Zero, and there's somebody else in there. Try me again. Okay, uh, WB9YMT. Hey, Jerry, that's you, isn't it? That is me. Yeah, we're here in southwest Missouri and uh, listening to the net. And uh, the other night, yeah, we're still on the 101 Echo Yazer. And uh, just running right about barefoot, about 135, 140 watts. Got the old uh, wire up in a tree, about 20 feet. And uh, we're on the shore. It's a beautiful table rock lake. So there's a lot of guys in here. Around. So back to you, Lynn, K5L, YN, WB9YMP. 
Oh, okay, sorry. Jerry, 100% copy, but I'll tell you what, we would do better with an amplifier. You got one around there somewhere? Yeah, I got a 301 in the basement. I got to get it out of, out of, I guess I'll have to bring it on up. Okay, yeah, 30L1 would really make that talk. And if it has not been uh, any uh, improvements on it, uh, there's a guy named Young Kim. Young Kim, that's an oriental name, who has a spectacular upgrade for the 30L1, so you might look him up. Okay, great to hear you, Jerry. Let's move on. Who else for the net? K5LYN, listening. Kilo India 5, Oscar, Oscar. Uh, Kilo India 5, Oscar, Oscar. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, Roger, this is Mike. I'm uh, kind of close to WD-58. H and I out here close to Dripping Springs. He's a little farther out than I am. I'm out here uh, between uh, Circle Drive and Pitchu Road. I'm running a FT-902 through a FL-2100G, putting out about 400 watts onto a 80-meter loop that's up about 15 feet in the backyard. KI-500, back to net. Okay, Mike, your uh, your antenna sounds like mine. <laughs> Mine's an 80 meter loop, uh, 15 or 20 feet. It's about to be pulled into uh, pieces by the trees that are growing uh, this year. I hope I can uh, get it fixed before next weekend. We're just barely holding together. Good to hear you. Have we talked to you before? If we have, I have forgotten. Yeah, it's been a few weeks. Uh, I had to rearrange my ham shack here, and just now getting everything back on the desk and hooked up again. All right, good to hear you. Anything else for the group this evening? Nothing else. That's it. Just checking in. KI-500, back to net control. All right, this is K5LYN on the Central Electronics 20A. Let's see. Uh, I'll take one more check-in for me, then I'll give it back to Jim. Let him talk to some folks. Who else is out there? I'm listening. You always U-O-Z, Perry. How you doing? Boy, I'm having trouble getting in. The band might not be good our way. Uh, good evening, Ryan. Um, Good evening to everybody here on the net. Um, uh, we've got the old Swan 500 uh, running, um, uh, and I've actually got it turned back uh, quite a bit on the drive and shoving that into uh, 4811. Uh, so uh, up around uh, 6700 watts, uh, maybe uh, maybe near 8 on PEP. Uh, feeding that into uh, uh, 75 meter inverted V. <laughs> Uh, uh, through a uh, uh, 450 on wire line uh, and uh, my Dentron super tuner. So uh, that's the station here, uh, Lynn. Good evening all the way around, KB0. You know that? Yeah, Perry, I heard you. I thought I heard a while a zero a while ago. I thought maybe it was you, but then some other folks came in, so I missed. Hey, I was doing almost the same a while ago, Swan 500 into my uh, uh, 30L1. I have the mic gain at about 7 p.m. Uh, where is your set at right now? Well, the mic gain's uh, at about 11.30 on the radio, uh, but I'm going to turn it plus 3, uh, and I've got it cracked about 9 o'clock, over. Okay, okay. Well, that was a little higher than I had mine, but it seems to be working just fine. Great to hear you, Perry. Nice signal. Anything else for the group this evening? No, no. Just thanks for getting me in, and a uh, uh, great bunch of guys, and uh, good sound and radios tonight. KB0, you always that. Perry, you always know how to put a good signal into Texas, as long as I've known you. <laughs> it's always been good, no matter what the conditions. All right, Jim, let's do it your way. KB5ZIV and the boat anchors, K5LYN. All right, Lynn. All right, folks, this is KB5ZIV. You're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you would like to check in with us this evening, if you'll come with your call sign slowly, spread them out a little bit for me, guys. We'll try and get you in here. Alpha, Foxtrot, 5, X-Ray, Delta. All right, XD, come on in here. Yes, sir. Just thought I'd check in. I've listened for a few times. Uh, finally have the Kenwood TS520 fired up. Just running barefoot here, 100 watts. Uh, have a off-center fed dipole of about 35 feet. We're about, uh, well, in the Georgetown area. So we're about 25 miles northeast of Austin area. Uh, everyone sounded very good. Glad to hear we're getting some of these older radios uh, back on the air and sounding very, very good. Enjoying the net. And that's all I really have for tonight. Thank you. All right, brother. That, that 520, you got it working just right. 
Got a good signal down in here to you, Eldy. Oh, very good, very good. Well, hopefully, if we get down there on a motorcycle ride, we go down to Uvalde uh, frequently. So, uh, might be able to take an HF rig with me the next ride down there and uh, make a contact locally. So, appreciate the contact. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. And this will be AF5XD, and I'll be clear and just listening. Thank you. All right, brother. All right, folks, this is KB5ZIV. You're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you'd like to check in with us this evening, if you'll come with your call sign slowly, spread them out a little bit for me, guys. We'll try and get you in here. KM5QS. Yeah, Jay. Yeah, just a comment for Joseph. I don't know if he's still listening or not. Uh, he, he's uh, exhibiting a, a, a unusual phenomenon between you and him, a real ground pass. Okay, I'm you. I'm, I hear you. <laughs> well, Joseph, there's with the power on, night. and what you heard earlier, I didn't have it on. Well, it's that way every Wednesday night. Good Lord Almighty. You better check your isolation switch. <laughs> it works good normally, except for your signal. Good Lord Almighty. I'm telling you, arc welding comes to mind. I just thought you were getting a good ground pass. Anyway, KM5QS back to the net. I do. All right. All right, folks, this is KB5ZIV. You're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you'll come with your call sign slowly, spread them out a little bit for me, guys. We'll try to get you in here. I can hear one way back there, but the AM guys are killing me at the moment. Well, Lynn, can you hear him? I can hear somebody talking, Jim, but I wasn't sure if it was the am -er or somebody trying to call us. I just don't know. Yeah, I think he's trying to get in here, but... Medallia Charlie Whiskey Papa? Okay, well, I heard Charles in Spring, Texas, sir. I, we're just barely hearing you. We'd, I, we'd have to guess about 50%. So thanks for trying, but I'm not sure we can get much going. Back to you for one more, over. Okay, why don't you send me an email, K5 Lima, Yankee, November, K5 LYN at ARRL.net, and we can uh, uh, pick up on loose ends, over. Back to you, Jim. All right, Lynn. Um, I think he said he was on a 530, but well, the, uh, it wasn't good. Not or at least it, it, maybe he's on a compromised antenna. But anyhow, let me do this one more time, guys. This is KB5ZIV. You're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you'd like to check in with us this evening, if you'll come with your call sign slowly, please, I'll try and get you in here. WD586. Hey, what's going on, Rick? Hey, Jim, I just turned this thing on. Just got in here, so I hope it's near, pretty near the frequency. It's uh, 820 and uh, on the Kenwood TL922 amp. Uh, which is not keying up for some reason. Doesn't look like it. Well, the 820 is working by itself, I'm going to tell you that. Okay, hello, one, two. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm, for some reason, I'm not getting anything out of the amp. I don't know why. Loose cable, standby switch on? Uh, I was on operate. I just turned it off to keep from... <laughs> Making things worse, whatever the problem is. All right. 
Okay, you can hear me okay then, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I hadn't stepped on the amplifier in the last couple of transmissions. You're just hearing what the radio does. Okay, well, good. Uh, I'm glad that at least the antenna's working. Oh, yeah, it's working just fine. All righty, I guess I'll back out of here then. All right, Rick. I bet you when you get to looking, it's a loose cable or something. Yeah, you know, come to think of it, I'd move things around a little bit. So, yeah, you're right. Every time I try and clean up around here, I make things worse. So maybe I just need to let the dust accumulate. <laughs> you got to be in my situation, but that's all right. All right, 7-3. Now, see, I'm drifting a little bit in frequency. WD-5 ADC. All right, brother. All right, Lynn, we're pretty close. You got uh, anything else you want? I was uh, the reason I asked. Uh, I gave that fellow my email, Jim. I thought uh, we'd talk about his antenna a little bit. I agree with you. All right, this is K5LY, and anybody want to talk to me before we shut the night the net down? We've been on well over an hour here. K5LY, and listening. I think that's a negative, gentlemen. Seventy-three is what great fun it was. Great signals all the way around. Let's do it again next week. Over to you, Jim. I'll listen out. K5LY, and seventy-three. All right, Lynn. All right, folks, this is KB5ZIV. You're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you would like to check in with us this evening, come with your call sign, slowly spread them out a little bit, guys, and uh, I don't hear anyone will shut this mess down. Whiskey, Oscars, and... Hey, Dan. Hi, Jim. I just figured I'd get in here real late. I want to let you and Lynn know that... Uh... You know, I was listening on that Sedona uh, SDR uh, uh, website up out there, and by God, you can hear everyone on this net very, very well out there. Uh, it's not always that way, but tonight is spectacular. That's it. K-W-O-Z. Back to net. Well, it's nice to know that we're working anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly, uh, people all over the countryside can hear everybody on here. Well, all right. All right, anyone else for the net this evening? N5 OJB, and I'm on my boat anchor. My boat anchor, Yezu 10 uh, FT 1000. <laughs> hey, Denver. Hey, I hate turning that other one on because everybody said I had a carrier, so I'm checking in on my 1000 Yezu uh, boat anchor. Well, it's working for you, brother. I guarantee, I don't even have an amplifier on, and I'll guarantee you one thing: if this thing, if this this radio here won't hold, you can't you can't hold a a, a, a boat in a place with it. Uh, when you drop it over the side, something wrong with you. I sure I do. Yeah, those early one thousand are boat anchors. K five L L for that. The, uh... All right, anyone else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net this evening? A recheck, WD-580C. Yeah, Rick. All right, I found the problem. <laughs> Move the cable, all right? No, uh, it was operator error. Uh, I had a, a switch in the wrong position. I was feeding into an amp that was offline. Oh, okay. Well, it's good. You know, it wasn't nothing too, too serious. Yeah, now, uh, I feel a lot better about it now. I do, I do. Well, I I hadn't stepped on the pedal, but I'm stepping on it now. Yeah, the band's in uh, such good shape tonight. There's not that much difference. I do, I do. Your uh, usual about 20, 25 over. Yeah, there's barefoot. Yeah, a little bit of difference. I do, I do. All right, have we missed anyone this evening? Is there anyone else that would like to check into the Boat Anchors Unlimited net this evening? All right, here and none, guys. We appreciate each and every one of you that came by here and checked in with us this evening because without you guys, we really can't do this. Lynn and I, Lynn and myself, and, and Guy, when he can be here, uh, we, we appreciate it. We get to hear the stuff that we got to play with. 
and we get to hear the stuff we didn't get to play with, and that's that's half the fun. Hopefully, y'all have a good week. Uh, we we do know what it takes to keep these things up and running, so hopefully, y'all have a good week, and we'll see you all next Wednesday. Seventy threes all the way around from KB five ZIV, returning this frequency back to normal amateur use. Good night, Jim and Liam. Seventy threes, Joseph. Come in, Jim. When you